I'm driving from point A to point B, and it's about an hour to get to point B. And once I get there, I've got an hour to kill. So why not find some geocaches? But how do you choose which ones? Coming up next on Cache Canada. So driving down the highway, you know, you could just look at the map, but it's kind of overwhelming. Look at how many geocaches there are between where I was and where I'm going. I could just easily just pick any old caches, you know, just drive up to a spot, pick an area, go geocaching for an hour. But I'm going to pick several caches that kind of pique my interest, and I'm going to tell you how I pick them. So for this little trip, I was traveling from Livonia, Michigan to Jackson, Michigan. It takes about an hour to get there. And I'm looking at the map, and you know, there is a lot of geocaching that could be had along the way. But I don't want it to take very long, and I want to have a good time doing it. So kind of what I did was I looked at the map, and I kind of scrolled in a little closer, and then I would look at geocaches along the way, and I would just kind of pick and go, well, there's a cemetery geocache, and this one is, ooh, it looks like a uh, challenge cache, even though it doesn't say challenge in the title. But that's kind of old, that one. So maybe uh, maybe I'll stop at that one. I don't know. So I, I picked a few. Uh, there was one up here. I really liked this one. But it's Sackrider Hill. And it's very old. It's probably one of the oldest geocaches in Michigan. But it's uh, kind of far off the highway. It's like almost a, a kilometer. And if you zoomed in, you took, took a look at the trails and such, it just... It didn't fit with this trip, but I'm going to highlight that one in a list for future reference. So I, I went back here and I found the one I'm just going to go at now. This one is called Batman and Robin Get Takeout at a TV hotel. And there's a pretty cool looking little uh, tavern right here, which I might have to stop at someday. But right now I'm headed to Jackson for dinner with friends. So let's take a jump out and see what this TV hotel is like. So just popping out of the rental, I could see the geocache right away in the distance across from this little picnic ground. Can you see it? You can see it right there. It's right in the middle. Have you spotted it? Is that where you spotted it? On the side of that tree? It wasn't hard to miss. Let's take a look. I'm excited already. Batman, this could be good. Let's take a look. Whoa, tricky. Hmm. How are we going to get in? Mm -hmm. That's a very cool container. It's uh, disguised as a bat house, has a screen up top and little slots where the bats would kind of go up inside. But uh, that's just a disguise to make people think that's what it is, but it's not. But we still have to get inside. Got to find a key. Well, shucks, yes, I thought it was going to be that easy. <laughs> I guess not. I got a little bit of reading to do because I got a whole lot of questions to answer in order to get the code to get into the bat cave. How many languages can Batman speak? How many languages can Batman speak? Whoa! 40? Holy doodle! I don't know if that's right. Bruce Wayne's net worth. 100, bi 100 billion? No, I don't think so. That's not right. This, this is kind of fun. Yeah, at least it's a nice day, and I can have a nice place to sit while I figure out uh, how to get into the box up there. Oh, yeah, i got to show you the second box. It's Robin's Nest. So the moment of truth is whether I figured out all the questions correctly, and I have the correct number to get in to get the key. Here goes. Yes! Got it! Woohoo! I got the key. I got the key. I got the key. Gotta go to the back cave. <laughs> Shaboom! Awesome! Woohoo! Detroit Pistons collar neck warmer and a well stocked geocache container with travel bugs. Wow! 
Wow, look at that. Holy doodle. Like, oh my gosh. Well, holy doodle. What a well-stocked travel bug hotel. I didn't bring any, but I think I'll maybe I'll pick one up so I do have one with me to trade. And there's even a little piglet. I picked one of the trackables and left the rest there. There's even way too many to discover. But I could here be here all day. But I, I've got uh, friends to meet for dinner in Jackson, so in it goes. Yeah. Closing it up, locking the bat cave securely. Nice. And you have to take the long walk back to Robin's nest to return the key because Robin seems to be the holder of the Batcave key. <laughs>